bed frame, finishing up the bed frame, finishing putting some paneling on the walls. A little bit snowy here today, but kind of cozy in the RV for 35, if you consider 35 cozy. <laughs> It feels good for things to be getting put back together. I'm getting excited. You need to swing around. Guy's gonna have to be notched out because I was not even thinking about that. That should be the name of the channel right now. The RV is just not level because water to top, yeah, way off. That's way off. No, 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 no. Okay, not what we agreed on. Okay, no. degrees in Michigan today if you can't tell um, I am going to be finishing up the bed frame and that is the goal for today hopefully I can get it finished wish me luck on the measuring and having good cuts today I'm not gonna waste any time because it is freezing so Let's get started. my toes right now in these 
doesn't my food so I'm is on that wall and this is slid this way off the wall to match that spot can you see yeah so So I am periodically taking my boots off to warm my feet. Uh, later on I ended up buying some foot warmers but I feel like they didn't work that well because it was still just freezing. Like anything below 20 degrees I found was super hard to work in and I stayed motivated to get this done because I knew I needed to. but. It definitely just made it really hard to work in anything that was 20 degrees or below. So I'm sure someone will tell me that there was a better way to build this, but I have never built a bed frame before and I am having to custom fit it around all of the boxes that were already in there, the wheel well cover boxes and the other large back box that was in the back that I am working over now. So I wanted to put in as many legs as possible and it actually ends up feeling pretty sturdy. I'm sure someone could give me advice on a better way to do it, but this is what I came up with. I'd rather have too much support than not enough. For building beds, and for life. Listen, if you think there's something you can't do because you've never done it before, you should just do it. It doesn't matter if it's perfect. If something is functional and works, then that's what matters. So let this be a lesson to you if there's something you want to do or try, try it and do it. What's the worst that can happen? You fail. You learn how to do better next time. Maybe you have to do it more than once to learn how to do it better. But who cares? Like It's better than not doing it or having other people just do it for you. So, do it. markings which I feel like it's not straight but it's not supposed to be Five, 
six, seven, eight, nine. Nine totes of this size will fit. Plus my big tool bin will fit there. This is going to be this piece of plywood in the back will be fixed. Um, I want to be able to get to the totes that are underneath of there, and I'm going to have to like reach under actually at this point. So I'm going to need something to pull them out. I feel like that's going to be kind of a pain because. to have stuff there that I don't use as often or like if I'm not like camping and stuff like that we'll go back there and then I don't know the every things can be changed later so I'm just gonna set this into the wood I think that'll make it pretty strong too so oscillating tool to the rescue again
the corner. You can see out everywhere. Just picture sitting here, looking out, and the coastline is out there. West coast, east coast, doesn't matter. The ocean. It's going to be pretty cool. That's the point of it all. Right? What do you think, baby? What do you think? You like it in here? Jump up. Come on, jump over. Jump over. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Good boy. Good boy. You want to come up here? Oh, do you love it? Do you love it? Hey, that's our rug. Is that our rug? It does smell like you're home. Are we home? you feel like you were part of it. screws that came with the hinges and they're too long by like that much so they're adhering the board to the wood underneath of it which obviously I don't want I was like why is it not coming why is it not lifting because it was secured down so I need to try to find screws that are smaller than that two packs so
Last of you can go back. In here. Slowly but surely. Get in there. like felt pads down just so it's not waking up the neighborhood but check that out I mean that's easy to oh that screw went through See, that's what I was afraid of I was just going to say that it's not bad to lift without the shocks, but it doesn't have a mattress on it yet, so it will get harder. So that's the next step is putting the shocks on. Cool. I'm gonna go grab my shitty coffee that I just bought from Tim Hortons. I don't know how they're in business or Dunkin' or any of those places. Sorry if that's controversial, but I'm Team Starbucks all the way. And they're not even amazing, their coffee. <laughs> 